Moorhead State men's and women's tennis coach Kevin Fulton is our guest on MSUEagles.com this afternoon. And Kevin, you're uh, well into the men's and women's season. Talk a little bit about uh, how things have been going. I know for the women, a little bit of an unfortunate, uh, there's been some injury and some illness lately, and the men are right there just a few points away. Um, just talk a little bit, give us a, a quick update on, on the men's and women's teams. Okay, uh, we start out the year on the men's side, one and three. We start out against uh, 34 ranked Louisville, uh, and we found out really quickly why they were ranked 34. Uh, then went against Kentucky, who's top six in the country. And we came home and played against University of Alabama, Huntsville, and I felt played uh, solid, not great, but solid tennis. It's a work in progress. I think that we talked a little bit off camera about our match with Xavier, and we're right there. I feel like we're, we're staying within games, we're staying within points, and we just got to find a way to uh, convert our opportunities. Uh, if you look at that score against Xavier, it was 7-0. But if you talk to any of these guys, anybody was there, it very well could have been a 4-3 win for us. Just, just the ebb and flow of the matches. Um, really happy with some development of a couple of guys. I feel that G, uh, Hugh and Hio is playing outstanding tennis right now. Uh, very happy with Giovanni Samaya. Very happy with Nick Mercer at, the, at this time. Uh, and extremely proud of the, the emergence of Nathan Martin as a leader on the team. Uh, the girls' side, it's kind of like MASH. Uh, we opened the year with uh, this, this spring with, with eight girls who could play, uh, and we're now down to six, one being a girl that's walked on. Um, we lost Brooke Helms in the fall to a, a, uh, an unfortunate uh, incident with, with her and had uh, Andrea Torres tore her ACL on both sides of meniscus the second day of practice. So, you know, we're, we're hurting a little bit. Uh, we've been sick. I think that uh, the virus uh, has run through this campus. It's kind of hit my team at, at this point juncture, and, but we're getting better. I still feel very confident this girls' team is going to make a very good mark in the OVC, uh, even with just the six girls that we're going to have for the rest of the year. Uh, heaven forbid anything happens to anybody else. But I, overall, I, I don't want the average person to look at our scores and think that we're, we're not a competitive team. We're very good. We've got a lot of young talent. Uh, the guys have four new players, three of them are freshmen. Uh, the girls' team is one senior and five freshmen in the starting lineup. That's, that's this kind of growing pains you're going to go through. But I think in the end of the season, you're going to see very surprised of what you see by the by come April. Talk a little bit about you. You're talking about being in close matches. What what do you think as a coach? Does it take for somebody to finish out a match? I know oh. you're talking about you're so close. It's maybe converting a point here or there. The average fan, I guess, doesn't realize just how close a tennis match can be, how exciting it can get, and how intense when you're so close and you're talking about a point here or there and losing or winning. Yeah, I think the thing that that, that comes from is pressure experience. And with us having three guys in the lineup, three new guys in the lineup from last year and two of them being their first time playing college tennis, it's just a matter of us repetition and practice, making things uh, count for things. Like if you lose, you're going to run. If you uh, don't convert here, you do a certain amount of push-ups. Just to put that pressure so they're used to it. You know, I, I think anybody that's ever played sports can tell you this, that practice should be the hardest part of, of it all. But it's also a lot easier to perform in practice. When you get out there in a match, you have butterflies in your stomach, you have all kinds of things going on in your head. And it's just a matter of these guys getting that experience where they can settle that in their head and they can realize that it's no different than practice. And I feel like we have a very talented group of young men that can do that. Uh, on the girls, obviously, that's, that's six, that's five girls out there that have never played a college match. and uh, We're getting better and better as we get healthy. Kevin Fulton, our guest on MSUEagles.com. Um, let's talk a little bit about the upcoming matches here uh, this weekend you'll be traveling to st. Louis um, Atlantic 10 foe over there at Univ or st. Louis University actually I think you may have faced them in the fall we did. already so you may have a little bit of familiarity with those teams I look for this to be a dogfight on both sides uh, I'm very very familiar with both teams I feel like we match up very well on the guys side I think it's going to determine our, how we go into the girls' match, how healthy we are. 
I think that this is going to be uh, like a conference match because this team that, that we're playing plays a lot of teams in our conference. So I kind of know what they're where they're at and what they're about. And um, you know, Coach Zitch does a good job. They've always finished in the, in the top five in the Atlantic Ten. Their girls have been in the top top three, I think, the last couple of years. And looking forward to it. Kevin, thanks a lot for joining us. Good luck with uh, your season. We'll talk with you soon. Thanks, Matt.